Got another little Bluetooth board from IC Station. This one features a 15 watt per channel amplifier. It will drive speakers directly. Let's check it out. This is going to be a short one because there's not a lot to see on it. But let's see how it sounds. So this is a Bluetooth uh, receiver and power amplifier that I received from IC Station to test out. And I believe they say it's rated at 15 watt, no 10 watts. Well, it kind of says everything. It says a bit of everything on here. It says uh, 15 to 20 watts, 10 watts, 15. Anyway, I guess your, your power output's going to depend on the input voltage. So depending on what your input voltage is, it's going to have anywhere between 10 and 20 watts of output. As you can see, it accepts 8 through 24 volts DC. So if you were powering it with 12 volts, you're probably going to get closer to about 10 watts of power, I would think. Um, it connects directly to the speakers. So we're going to connect two speakers. We're going to connect some power to this thing and pair it to the phone. This one's called an XY P15W. It's advertised at 15 watts. I'm just going by what is printed on here. It says 15 slash 20, 10 watts slash 15 watts slash 20 watts. What was what printed on the uh, the bag that it came in? As you can see, it's a brand new item. It uh, looks like it was produced uh, in like May of May 24th of this year. So let's just hook up the speakers. It's a BTL or bridged tied load output, so it needs two wires per speaker. And uh, we're just looking at the polarity of it here. Positive and negative. The other other ones are actually reversed. And then the then the other speaker negative is what's facing in. So be sure you check that. Otherwise, you'll end up with a speaker that is out of phase. And that won't help your cause as far as bass response goes if you've got a speaker that's out of phase. I'm just going to get a couple of wires to tie on here so that I can connect it to power. So positive is to the outside here. And the negative is the inside of the two terminals. Marked for power. I'll get the power supply going and uh, oh, it might help if I turn on the bench power. To start the pairing process, we're going to connect power. And wait for the device to show up in the list. Oh, XYP15W. That looks like the correct one. There we go. Let's have to wait for it to show up in the list here because it's seeing other things that I've got in the house. <laughs> it's seeing other devices such as my ABOX A4 has got Bluetooth, I guess. Seeing it. Okay. We're now paired. If I bring up my music player, it should start playing. on the side here volume volume out down volume up and press to pause playback press again and I would imagine if I just click this quickly it's going to advance to the next track I think maybe not Pause. I don't know if it will advance the tracks or not. You would think that uh, by clicking it just quickly it should change tracks. That's if... Uh, turn off the repeat. So it appears that uh, this is just a volume control.
and start stop. So what I'm curious is if my music player is not even active, it's just paired to this, will it start up playing? And the answer to that is yes. That's kind of neat. So if you're, you know, if you if you have one of these little units built into a speaker or attached to a speaker somehow, with the uh, control, which is on the side here, accessible, then um, as long as your device is paired to it, just pressing the button on the control will launch your music player start playing tracks but it does not skip tracks when you adjust the volume it's just volume only volume up and volume down you could probably extend this button as well so if this was inside a cabinet you can put a little lever on there to flip up and down you know to turn the volume up and down and to push it in to start and stop but anyway that's the unit itself drive speakers directly let's see what type of volume we can get out of this thing What I'm going to do is I'm going to crank the voltage up to 24 volts and we'll see how much louder it gets as I turn the voltage up. So we'll crank it up and we'll then increase the voltage. did there is I, I, I ran it up the full voltage and the volume did not change. I'm running the voltage down. I'm at 8.7 volts now. As I get down to 8 volts, that's when the distortion comes in. At that volume. And 7.5, it drops out completely. So we're at uh, 7.6 volts now. If I turn it down, Cuts off at 7.5, comes back on at 7.8, and then operates all the way to the full voltage of 24 volts. I'm not going to take it beyond 24, but it's rated at 24 volts maximum, so we'll take it up to 24 volts. It should probably cut out if I go beyond that. It should, it should shut down, but it's not, but I don't want to blow it up. It's rated uh, 8 to 24 volts, work perfect at 12 volts. I think most people that buy one of these things probably are going to use them at 12 volts. And it's got fairly good sound. There it is. Bluetooth board with 15 watt amplifier, the XYP15W from IC Station. The link to it is in the description. Thanks for watching.